I'm a long time user of AMD GPUs. For the, as long as I've been using Linux, I've been using AMD, except for right at the very beginning. And the reason why I switched to AMD was because that original card that I was on when I switched to Linux was an Nvidia card. And I had nothing but problems with that thing. I had screen tearing that wasn't fixable at that point. I had crashes and all sorts of things that just were not good experiences. And that was an almost universal experience back then. And video was just not good on Linux. And there was not much you could do about it if that was the case, because it was very, very reliant on the proprietary drivers. And the open source drivers at that point were not good at all. You could barely use them. Over the course of the last seven years or so, I've been using AMD and haven't really paid much attention to NVIDIA at all outside of the horror stories that I hear from people who are trying to use it during the transition to Wayland. But as I've transitioned away from Caden Live and to DaVinci Resolve, which works better on NVIDIA cards, I've been trying to reacclimate myself to the whole NVIDIA world. And what I thought I'd do today is talk about how far NVIDIA has come and is it really usable these days on Linux. So let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do, two things. First, if you leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. It'd really help the channel. But secondly, what I want to point out here first is that I've only tried my NVIDIA card on three distros. And that is not all the distros that exist. So my experience may be different than your experience. I can only talk about what I've experienced. I can't say how you will fail, fare depending on what card you have and what distro you're using. So take what I'm about to say with the knowledge that I don't know everything and I haven't experienced everything. So there you go. That's your disclaimer. So first off, I tried it on OpenSUSE. Now obviously OpenSUSE is my distro and I bought a what is it, a 4050, 4070 Ti, I think is what I, I ended up with. And it is a huge card, first off, and it took a ton of power, which I didn't have, so I had to get a new power supply. And it wasn't a great experience hardware-wise, but once I got it in and I got back into OpenSUSE, I expected it not to boot. Like, <laughs> like when you change from one graphics card to another, I just expected something to go wrong. But it booted fine. It was not great. Now you gotta remember, this computer here is set up to the point where it was always an AMD card that drove it. I, I've had a RX 580 and then I have a 6750 XT, which is the card that I was leaving behind. And it was, this install of OpenSUSE was AMD based. So switching to an Nvidia card on that same install gave me some worries. And it wasn't great out of the box. Now, I don't know how OpenSUSE managed to recognize what card it was. All the technical details there are far beyond my level of expertise. But it was usable to the point where I could go through and figure out how to install the NVIDIA drivers. And once I installed the NVIDIA drivers, it was surprisingly okay. And when I say surprisingly okay, there are two words there that you need to focus on. First off, it was better than it used to be. From my experiences before... It was way better. But also, okay doesn't necessarily mean it was awesome. So the, 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 there's a lot of work being done by those two words there. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. So what I experienced when I first installed it, after I got the, the drivers installed, was stability but lagginess. And when I mean that is like it was usable... But a lot of times things didn't quite move at the speed that you expected them to move. Most notably on animations, things just weren't very good. Also, I had a lot of artifacting and stuff like that. But I don't want to blame that all on NVIDIA because I have the same problems with Kwin on uh, an AMD card. So I'm expecting that that's more of a Kwin problem and not an NVIDIA card. But I first noticed it when I switched to NVIDIA. Also, I had some really weird situations where things were just crashy, and that wasn't on NVIDIA at all, or on, on excuse me, that wasn't on uh, KDE at all, that was on GNOME. And GNOME is notoriously more stable, at least supposedly, than KDE is. And that was some, just some weird things that were going on. And that's my really experience with it on OpenSUSE. Now, 
I say all that to say this. I don't know if it would have been better if I had done a fresh install of OpenSUSE and started off with that NVIDIA card or not. It's possible that it had some remnants there of the AMD stuff that was going on. It's possible that I didn't have the right graphics driver. It's also possible that it just wasn't the right driver number for this card. It's also possible, just to carry on with this thing, that I chose to switch to NVIDIA at a bad time. And we'll talk more about the driver lottery here in a little bit. So on OpenSUSE, my experience was very mixed and I, I didn't know what to think about it, but I did end up going back to AMD's simply because I wasn't able to get resolved to work on this PC at all. So I didn't figure I needed to use the, ND, the NVIDIA card on this computer anyways and struggle with it such as I was. So I went back to AMD on the main machine, but on the secondary PC where I've been doing my editing, that has a 3050 Ti in it, and I've been using Bluefin. Now, I'm working on my long-term review of Bluefin, and I'll have more about that in the next couple of weeks, but overall, the experience there was much better. Kinda. It worked pretty well most of the time. Now, I'm, I'm being very careful with my wording there, because when I was using it just regularly it worked most of the time when it was from a fresh reboot into the system it would work just like an amd card would i had no problems whatsoever and resolve worked phenomenally well with nvidia on, on bluefin it worked very very good my problem with the bluefin install mostly because of nvidia was because it did not work well after the computer returned from sleep now i'm going to be showing some a very brief clip of what it was doing here basically what you'll notice is that the cursor is very you know, like it will move and then it will pause and it will move that's not me pausing i'm moving continuously yet the cursor is like staggering it's, it was very very annoying and the only way to get past that was to log out and log back in it didn't even need a reboot it just needed me to log out and log back in it's very very weird now the thing is, is, it doesn't do it on Xorg, so that was a Wayland issue. Now, color me surprised that NVIDIA doesn't work with, well with Wayland, but, you know, I expected better. Let's just say that. Now, I will say, like I said at the beginning, that in my experience, when it wasn't doing that nonsense, was way better than I expected it to be. It was usable, and when the system was up fresh and it hadn't come back from sleep, it was working just as well as it did when I was using AMD on OpenSUSE. It was just a very, fairly good experience. I was quite surprised. Now, the third system that I installed it with was Ubuntu, and that was a travesty. Like, it was not good at all. Now, I don't want to blame NVIDIA for that, okay? The reason why that was a bad experience was because the drivers were pretty old, and that leads me into the whole driver lottery thing that I talked about earlier, and I don't know if lottery is the right word to use here, but really what I've concluded when with my experience with the NVIDIA card over the course of the last few weeks is that your experience on NVIDIA really depends on what driver you're using and if that driver is good. Now, the problem is that not all the driver releases are good. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. So if you're in the brand new spanking latest version right now, supposedly it's really good. If you were on the previous version, which is what I was when I first started the NVIDIA thing, it was not so good. And it's kind of like roulette. Your experience is going to be very reliant on whether the proprietary drivers that NVIDIA releases is a good set or not. And it's not always the case that they are. It's not a like a linear progression of goodness, like every driver is better than the last. Sometimes they regress a little bit and they're not very good for that release. And then you have to wait for the next one and hope that they're better. Or you have to roll back and use the whole version until, you know, the problems are fixed. And that's not any way to live, okay? My experience over the course of the last three weeks since I started doing this whole NVIDIA thing, maybe it's even been longer than three weeks, is that every time I see a new NVIDIA update come through, I am just holding my breath that it's not going to ruin my experience because I half expect it to. And like I said, that's not a way to live. Now, Mesa and the AMD drivers are kind of the same, but 
I, in my experience over the course of the last seven years of you using AMD, I've had way fewer times when an a, an AMD driver uh, update came through and wrecked everything. I can only think of like one time, and that was fairly recent actually, where there was some mess, messed up thing with the Mesa drivers, and it just kind of caused havoc for a little while. And like that's like the only big time in the last seven years where that's happened. The NVIDIA drivers seem to do that a lot, where they just, every once in a while, they'll push something out that just breaks things for no reason, and you just have to deal with it, right? And it's not a great experience. So it's not that Invi the NVIDIA stuff hasn't gotten better. It has. It's definitely way better than it was. And it is usable. Like, it's very usable. Now, the one thing I haven't tried at all is gaming. I was... Not interested in gaming the last few weeks, so I haven't done much gaming. So I haven't tried gaming, so I can't speak to how good or bad it is on gaming. So I'll apologize there. But in terms of just actually using your computer for regular productivity stuff, it worked well. It allowed me to edit videos. It allowed me to record videos. It allowed me to record audio. All the stuff you you know you normally I normally need to do, and browse the web and all that stuff worked fairly well in different situations, and that can't be said for how it was way back when. And from the stories that I've heard from other people who have transitioned to Wayland using NVIDIA, they've also had some issues. So the fact that it is usable now is way better. But you still ha are very reliant on having joined the crowd of NVIDIA users with a driver set that you have to really rely on. It's really the only choice because the open source drivers, while they again have gotten way better, I don't think are anywhere near where they need to be for them to be like up to par. So overall, the NVIDIA situation on Linux is better than it used to be in my very brief experience. Now, what I want in the comment section below, for those of you who do use NVIDIA, leave your experiences in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you because, like I said, I have certain hardware things that go on in, in my setup or whatever that are completely unlike anybody else's. I'm always having problems with hardware and stuff like that, as you know if you've watched my channel before. So what my experience is with, with NVIDIA and stuff like that is going to be completely different than yours. So I'd really love to hear from you guys who use NVIDIA in the comment section below how you've experienced not only just using your card and stuff like with regular Linux and, and Xorg and stuff, but also with your transition over to Wayland if you've transitioned over or whatever. So all those in the comment section below, I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, leave a thumbs up on this video. I'd really appreciate it really help the channel and if you are not subscribed what are you waiting for i release linux content fairly regularly and it's all somewhat good let's just call it somewhat good and if you haven't subscribed yet you definitely should hit that big red subscribe button i'd really appreciate it thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the channel would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very very much for your support if you want to follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey those links will be in the video description as well you can also head on over to the store which is available at shop at the Linux cast Linux ugh, shop at the Linux cast .org. All, you, there you'll find all sorts of merch and stuff and I don't know why I pointed over here but anyways shop at the Linux cast or, .org. I point the ending that's what I did anyways thanks everybody for your support thanks everybody for watching I'll see ya next time.